For decades, astronomers have explained the universe's accelerating expansion by invoking something mysterious, dark energy. But a new study proposes a different idea. Instead of adding an unknown force, the researchers suggest that the acceleration could come directly from the geometry of space-time itself, using a mathematical framework called Finsler geometry. This approach might explain the expansion without introducing dark energy at all, a potential shift in how we understand the cosmos. In this video, we'll break down what this theory says, why it matters, and what it could mean for the future of cosmology. Let's get started. The story begins with a well-known fact. The universe is expanding. Since the 1920s, astronomers have observed galaxies moving away from each other. But in 1998, measurements of distant supernovae revealed something unexpected, that this expansion is speeding up, not slowing down. To explain this, cosmologists added a new ingredient to Einstein's equations, dark energy an invisible force thought to make up most of the cosmos. Yet despite its central role, dark energy remains completely hypothetical. It has never been directly observed. Its existence is inferred from the way galaxies move and how light travels across space. Now, a team of physicists from the Center for Applied Space Technology and Microgravity in Germany and the Transylvanian University of Brasov in Romania suggests a simpler explanation. Instead of adding something new to the universe, they change how the universe itself is measured. The standard model of cosmology relies on Riemannian geometry, the mathematical framework behind Albert Einstein's general relativity. In it, measurements of distance and time are the same no matter the direction or motion of the observer. The new study replaces this with Finsler geometry, where those measurements depend on direction and velocity. This change may seem technical, but it alters the foundation of how the universe is described. Using this framework, the researchers derived a new version of the Friedman equations, the core equations describing cosmic expansion. Their solution revealed something striking. Even without a cosmological constant or dark energy term, the model produces accelerating expansion. In other words, the acceleration may emerge as a natural property of space-time geometry, not as the effect of an unknown energy. Importantly, this new geometry doesn't break what we already know. The deformation of light cones, the structures defining causality, is small, meaning general relativity's predictions at everyday scales remain valid. Observations within the solar system or in standard lab experiments wouldn't change. This is still a theoretical result, but it provides a proof of concept. The universe's acceleration may be explainable through its geometry alone. Why is this significant? Because it challenges the very need for dark energy as a separate component of the universe. For 25 years, dark energy has been used to explain cosmic acceleration. It works mathematically, but it's fundamentally a placeholder, an unknown quantity introduced to make equations match what we observe. If geometry itself can explain acceleration, cosmology could become more self-contained, relying less on hypothetical forces. This fits into a broader scientific effort to reconsider the foundations of cosmology. Over the years, several alternatives have been proposed, from modified gravity theories to quantum vacuum models. Many of these struggle to fit data or conflict with precise local tests of relativity. Finsler geometry is different. It extends Einstein's framework in a mathematically rigorous way, modifying cosmic behavior on large scales while leaving local physics mostly untouched. The key challenge now is not mathematical elegance, but observational proof. The standard Lambda CDM model matches a wide range of data, including supernova brightness, the cosmic microwave background, baryon acoustic oscillations, gravitational lensing, and the growth of cosmic structure. Any alternative must match or outperform these results to be taken seriously. The authors of the study acknowledge this. They're not claiming to have replaced the standard model overnight. 
but they offer a new path to explore. By shifting the explanation from mysterious energy to geometry, the theory simplifies the ingredients of the universe while raising new and testable questions. One important area of investigation will be the early universe. Inflation, structure formation, and the growth of galaxies depend heavily on how expansion behaves at different epochs. If geometry alone drives acceleration, how does it evolve over time? Does it mimic dark energy perfectly or diverge at high redshifts? These questions can be answered only through precise observations. This theory is not an endpoint, but an opening, a way to revisit one of the most profound mysteries in modern physics through a new lens. If confirmed, this geometry-based approach would reshape several pillars of modern cosmology. First, it would eliminate the need for dark energy as a separate entity. Acceleration would no longer be seen as evidence of a mysterious cosmic fluid, but as a built-in property of space-time. That would simplify our understanding of the universe's composition, removing an element we still don't understand. Second, it would force scientists to reinterpret existing data. Every measurement of the universe, from galaxy distances to the cosmic microwave background, is currently analyzed under Riemannian geometry. Changing the geometry means reevaluating how those measurements translate into physical quantities like expansion rates, distances, and cosmic age. Third, it could lead to different predictions about the universe's future. Under the standard model, dark energy drives endless acceleration, leading to a cold, isolated cosmos. A geometry-driven expansion might behave differently over time. It could speed up, slow down, or follow a more complex trajectory. The long-term fate of the universe could change, but these are possibilities, not conclusions. The next step is rigorous testing. The model must align with type Ia supernovae, which trace how expansion changed over time, baryon acoustic oscillations, which provide a cosmic scale ruler, CMB measurements, which reveal early universe structure, gravitational lensing, which maps space-time curvature, and structure growth, which tests how matter evolved. It must also be consistent with local tests, from spacecraft navigation to pulsar timing and gravitational wave observations. Upcoming missions and surveys provide an ideal testing ground. Observatories like ESA Euclid, NASA, Nancy Grace, Roman Space Telescope, and Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument will gather precise data about how the universe expands and structures grow. These measurements can directly test whether geometry alone explains acceleration or whether dark energy remains necessary. Regardless of the outcome, this work is scientifically valuable. If confirmed, it could simplify cosmology. If ruled out, it will refine our understanding of why dark energy is still needed. Either way, it brings us closer to the underlying truth of how the universe works. This theory doesn't add new cosmic ingredients. It redefines how we measure the universe. If geometry alone drives acceleration, it could reshape modern cosmology. Upcoming observations will reveal whether this idea stands or falls.